John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing the new and improved Extract Broadhead out of Australia. You may have seen me test this last year, and I did. You can check out that review here on my channel. I also tested it in the field on a whitetail. I coupled it with a True Blue crossover that also comes out of Australia, and I must say that put a really nice hole in a whitetail that the whitetail didn't appreciate very much, but I certainly did, okay? But this new Extract, it's basically the same head, but they put a, a different different bevel on it. They have a whole new sharpening procedure and it comes really sharp. There's a little bit of differences in addition to that. So I'm going to zoom on in here and go through some of the design features and specifications and then I'm going to put it to the test that I'm using at this point in 2021. So not only have I changed some of my testing protocol for this new year of 2021, but I've already updated it a bit. I have a new test for sharpness, a new test for uh, uh, edge retention, and then a new way that I'm doing the flight tests, as well as I have a composite grade, the Lusk grade, that I, I give every head that I test on a scale of zero to 10 golden arrows. <laughs> and I reveal that with the score sheet at the end. So let's see how this new extract performs. So here's the new and improved pre-sharpened extract broadhead. This is the 125 grain model, has a cutting diameter of one and one eighth inches, machined out of a single piece of steel that's brought to a Rockwell hardness of 48 to 50. So they say that's a good balance of being really durable, but also not too difficult to resharpen. You can see they put a really healthy double bevel angle on it there that's it's got a very noticeable bevel and that's going to make it really sharp as well as it's going to make it relatively easy to resharpen it's sharpened all the way around on the sides as well as the back to make it easier to pull out of a target as well as to allow it to cut tissue if it's lodged within an animal and the arrow is backing out of an animal as often happens it's going to cut while it does that the tip is kind of rounded there, you can see. That's a bit unique in a head like this, and that's just to help prevent rollover. As well as the ferrule goes all the way up there to the tip, just making that extra durable and giving that extra lateral support to the head. So I'm eager to put this extract to the test and see how it performs. Here's the extract group with the field point. I've got a new method to test edge sharpness and edge retention. And what I'm using here is the edge on up edge sharpness tester. And what it does is it measures the pressure that it takes any edge, any blade, to cut through this really tiny little aluminum wire here. And it measures it in grams. And so I'm gonna test each broadhead right out of the package to see its initial sharpness. And then I'm gonna test it after penetration test one, when it goes through the, uh, the MDF and rubber foam mat and into the gel. And I'm gonna test the sharpness at that point as well. Extract out of the box sharpness. One seventy five. The extract penetrated eight and a half inches. Two fifty. The extract penetrated through 61 layers. 2.50. Here's a look at the wound channel that you get from the extract. And you see it's just a nice double bevel, two blade hole. You don't get that S cut that you get with a single bevel, but you do get a nice cut nonetheless. And as for the durability of the head, man, it's in pristine shape. I really can't tell that it's even been shot, let alone shot through the steel plate five times. Not a nick on it. it spins very well. Yeah. 
Here's the extract after being shot into the steel plate five times and then into the cinder block. And you can see that structurally it held up very well. Actually still spins very well. Testimony to that solid one piece construction. But you can see it did get pretty bent up there at the end. Now it penetrated pretty deeply into that cinder block. So you can see the edges where there was penetration. They held up actually surprisingly well. The tip did curl over quite a bit there, but it didn't break. And so, you know, that's a plus. You hit something hard like that, it's better to bend than break because it's going to stay in that animal and just continue to cut. So what'd you think of the extract? Man, I got to tell you, this edge that they put on it, this bevel and this sharpening process, it worked. This is one of the sharpest heads that I've tested so far, and it held its edge remarkably well. You can check out the scores of all the other areas, but this is a head where if you have a lighter setup and you want to maximize penetration, or you're going after a really big animal and you want to maximize penetration, this is something worth considering. Sometimes I'll, I'll give a critique of what I think could be improved upon, and the only thing I would say about that is to use a, a, a steel that's a bit more resistant to impact. You saw how it folded over a bit in that uh, hard impact test on the concrete. And you know, you're not hunting concrete, I understand that, but a really heavy bone could produce that same thing. So if they used a higher quality steel that was able to resist impact more, then it would do even better. But as it is, it's still a fantastic head. Great job, Extract.